I think the mid-1800s, 1860 to be exact, is probably the most heavily studied time for reenactors and history buffs in our nation's history. Of course, that would be the Civil War time. I'm at Civil War Days right now at Curtin Village. We hope to make this an annual event where there are reenactors here, lots of equipment, and people to tell you what's going on about the Civil War or what had happened. It's pretty cool stuff. I'm here with Gary Hoover. Gary, what is your position here with this reenactment group? I'm on the uh, board of the Roland Curtin Foundation, and I'm also captain of Thompson's Independent Battery C. What is this event? Or we're at the Curtin. This is actually the debut event. It's been a long time since Curtin Village has had mm -hmm. a Civil War days. In fact, almost 20 years. Oh my! So uh, the Roland Curtin Foundation is working on bringing this event back, making it more a benefit to the public having it offer many more things, and this is basically our debut event. Now, as reenactors, we don't use cloth powder bags, we use aluminum. So we have to worm with every round because aluminum doesn't burn. So the worm will go in and drag out the aluminum cartridge. Unfortunately, because of space requirements, we're not going to be able to fire the gun for you today. We'll have to do a dry demonstration, but you will be able to see how guns were actually loaded and fired during the Civil War. So the temperature right now is about 87 degrees, and the humidity is probably up in the 90 percentile range. The uniforms that these guys are wearing, the blue tops that you see and the wool pants, well, they are wool. They have to be dry cleaned, and the guys usually get them dry cleaned at the end of the season. And I talked to one other fellow that said, well, you know, it's not really so bad. Once we sweat enough, it starts to cool off things, and uh, it doesn't feel so bad. So you got this kind of sweaty, sticky stuff going on, and it's a form of uh, uh, 1860s air conditioning. For 100 individuals, they would get 15 pounds of beans, 10 pounds of rice, 10 pounds of coffee, 15 pounds of sugar, two quarts of salt, two quarts of vinegar, and then very small amounts of desiccated vegetables, potatoes, um, candles, and soap. That... Wait a minute, what? he has a, a dish with a great sandwich in it. <laughs> that doesn't sound like that. That's what Thompson's Independent Battery C eats today. So that's a little different than what you're telling me. It is a little different, yes. Yes, because while we do believe in authenticity in our cannon and our gun drill, um, we like to eat. On the same ground as Curtin Village, you'll find Eagle Ironworks. It's the last water wheeled powered cold blast charcoal furnace in America. When you're done touring Curtin Village, make sure you stop by the Ironworks. My grandmother uh, was Andrew Gray Curtin's um, uh, granddaughter. Okay. So it makes him my great great grandfather. So Andrew Curtin is your great great grandfather. Yes, Andrew, Andrew Gray Curtin. And so why are you wearing this today? What does this I symbolize? Was, well, I was asked to portray Governor Curtin during uh, this function by my cousin, Kate Curtin. Gotcha. But, and it was easy for you because you pretty much wear this every day, don't you? Well, not exactly. I actually came came down, my function was to review the troops. So oh, oh, yeah. I, yes. to, I guess and I did that this morning. Good. And they, they were okay? They were good to go? And... It was a lot cooler this morning, so it was a <laughs> lot better to be in the sun, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So. Hey, thank you, sir. Appreciate thank that. You. You, can, you can take off the coat now. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. I'd leave on the hat, though. So, Civil War Days at Curtin Village. The folks here are trying to make it an annual event, so go online to Curtin Village website next June sometime, probably late, uh, the third week or so, and find out when it's going to happen again. Uh, there are a lot of, as you can see, encampments and, and men dressed as uh, Civil War soldiers. It's interesting, it's educational, and it's just a pretty place to visit. Good place to take pictures.